hey guys in today's video i'm gonna teach you how to trade market break this is one of the trading strategies that most traders use and all you do is wait for the market to break its current position or its current direction then you can go ahead and enter for profit so without wasting much of your time i'm gonna share with you guys exactly how this works it's very simple just pick your trend line draw your trend and wait for the market to break it so just like we know we have market going in the sell and buy position when i say sell i mean market going in the bearish position and when i say buy i mean market going in the bullish position and these things you can make money consistently because you already know either way market is gonna go either up or down so i want your mindset to be in okay what is the most likely direction for this market next and that's where the break comes in hand so for today's video if you pay close attention we're going to be using btc us dollar for this and we're also going to be doing this under the 15 minutes time frame i also want to advise you that you should get comfortable with checking your trades in a higher time frame as well for example since we trade with 15 minutes time frame it won't hurt if we also check our trades using the four hours time frame and the reason why you why we do this is to confirm that market is either going strongly to the position or direction what to trade on or just to see exactly what the market is doing on a higher time frame in general so the first thing i want you to do is obviously go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video and also make sure to comment what you think or you know what you want to learn more or what you want to learn next at the comment section all right if there's anything you feel like i omitted then you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section as well you're going to be helping lots of people also know how to trade this strategy and make lots of money all right so back to the 15 minutes time frame we have our chart right here and i would like to share with you guys an example of what we can do all right so what i want you to do is to identify the highs and the lows identify the highs and the lows every single time right it's going to help you know exactly where to put your trend lines and how to take your trades now mostly we take our trades once we have seen two higher highs and lower highs or two lower lows and lower highs that's when we put our trend line right so high highs and high lows signifies that we're aiming for the market to break the uptrend so we can be able to trade on sell and for the lower lows and lower highs it's aiming that we are aiming for the market to break the downtrend and so we can take the upward position and we're using 15 minutes time frame because we are day trading right so quickly go ahead and grab your trend line so for example we have a high right here we drag it over to this high again and you can see purely right here all we do is we have one two right so what we do is we wait for the market to break this trend line and you can see over here it clearly did and once this happens all you have to do is to take your position at the candle that is going to open above the trend line put your stop loss you can use maybe let's say you can use about one percent of your capital or any amount you feel like is good enough for you right but what most traders are going to do, actually, they're going to find a place where price acted. And price actions can be in candles, it can be in patterns. And you can see right here, we have price actually acted on this candle, right? So some people are literally going to put their candle just below that candle. Or some are just going to put this entire below here. But I feel like this is too much. So me personally, I'm going to leave my stop loss somewhere here and obviously take a 2 or three is to one risk to reward ratio so let's go ahead and make that three is to one risk to reward ratio so you can see that right here and if we drag this all the way down here you're going to notice that eventually this trade entered in profit because this is where it started and by the time it got here it became a profitable trade so let's go ahead and see how that will work as well in another scenario i'm not saying that this is going to be like a hundred percent working strategy for every single person but this is how it works 
just know that whenever you see higher highs, uh, sorry, higher lows and lower lows, you are to draw a trend line above it. And when you see higher highs and higher lows, you are to draw a trend line below it because then you are waiting for a break. And I know some of you might have seen this already, but here is another one. So we have um, a low here and we have a low here, right? So this is it was obviously giving us a higher low, right? And that continues. So basically, all you have to do is put your trend line and drag it all the way till it breaks. Okay, so just drag it to the second. Just make sure that it has at least two um testing, right? So have low and low. So your low starts from the first low and drag your line straight to the boundary of the second low and drag it all the way to the um as long as it takes, right? And then once that happens, all you have to do is just wait for the market to break it. And you can see right here, we have a break right here. And all you have to do is simply put your short position, take your, your short position right here, and obviously look for your price action again. Okay, so let's say if this place is good enough for you, you can just do that and put your stop loss, your, your take profit somewhere as three is to one risk to reward ratio, which is somewhere here or two is to one risk to reward ratio. This basically depends on your trading pattern or your trading understanding or how you want to go about your trading, right? So with this, you have a good chance at actually making profit at the end of this trade. Now, I mentioned a higher time frame before. And the reason I said that, remember guys, is to know exactly when the market is moving strongly to our direction. So let's go back to the four hours time frame. And see exactly what it looks like. So here is the four hours time frame, and exclude these things we drew here. Obviously, it's not gonna show exactly how it actually was, but if you look closely, you're gonna see that it's actually showing a promising move to the downward direction, showing that BTC might be going low in next coming few days, right? But we are day traders, and that's all we care about. So one of the other things I like to do whenever I enter my four hours time frame is to check the super trend. I understand that sometimes we humans, we are not perfect and we might not be able to understand exactly what the trade is trying to do and stuff like that. But when we use platform indicators like super trends, we kind of be able to see exactly whether this market is probably going to go our direction. Guys, remember I said probably because it is never certain in any way. So let's go to the super trend right away and in the import that indicator go ahead and type super trend in your indicator you're gonna be able to get that into your platform right it's called s u p e r t r e n d right so that's called super trends pick the first one and there you go right you don't need any settings to it for it so you can see right here that obviously we have a super trend that has tested this so this means that our our trading pattern is confirming that there is a potential downward movement. This is not always 100% correct, but this is a very good correct reading. So you can see that right here and how it was. So I'm gonna give you guys an assignment. Go ahead and pick any pair you trade, whether cryptocurrency or Forex or stocks, right? And use a 15 minutes time frame and check out these indicators, right? If you see it, you can use your demo account to trade. Also, you can use this uh, strategy to trade for scalping. Now, for scalping, uh, you have to look at a much lesser price movement. For example, we have a high and a lower high. Over here, you draw your trend line above the lower high and wait for the break. And all you do is, you know, you scalp, right? You take a trade here and take profit here. And same thing happens with uh, this one over here, right? So we have, okay, a high, a high. So this doesn't really apply because they're kind of, okay, I think it actually does apply. So let's take a high right here and drag it over above this one as well. And you can see, take a trade over here, you scalp it. So it also happens for scalpers as well. It works pretty well for scalpers as well. So we have a high and a lower high. You take that as well drag it right over there you scalp you take profit you take loss very simple small 
losses right so that's basically how the strategy works right so right now we already have established that we're actually on a downtrend we, we already broke um for day traders we already broke this trend right here okay so we already broke this trend right here so gonna be taking a trade to the downward direction right now so this is how you trade breaks right it's very easy to do and it doesn't really require you to have much experience in trading all you have to do once it's broken you trade if you're scalping take the shorter time price actions the closer price actions and trade as quickly as possible you can be scalping every two two or three three hours to be trading but just know that not every single time you trade break you should be expecting profit right so that also is very important so the next one we should be looking at right now is this trend line right so if this happens right now and it breaks this line we're gonna take a long position and i'm gonna give you guys two seconds to think why i chose these points all right you might have seen it you might have not right we have a high right here and we have another high right here even though it doesn't really look like a high but it is a high right so if this market does not continue going downwards and breaks it we have a good chance to go long it is not 100 percent gonna enter but it is a good position to trade let me let me hear what you guys think about this strategy you can comment in the comment section if you have anything to add to this strategy and i'll make sure to do that include that and also mention you in the next video and if you do like this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one take care Happy ending and stay blessed.